Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add a unique style to an image in your Squarespace storefront. We're going to take that product image and we're going to add a border to it. We're going to curve the corners with a border radius. We'll add a box shadow and I'll even teach you how to create a hover effect. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to share my screen, show you how to install these codes, and I'll show you what parts of these codes you're going to want to change so it looks amazing on your own website. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be customizing this image here, which I have set to a one-to-one -one ratio. You can change the ratio of that image showing a different size if you hop into edit mode on your store and then select edit section. Under this option here, you can change up the columns, but here's where you change the aspect ratio for that image, selecting any of these options that you want. One by one is the best one for us to see this on my screen while we make some changes with CSS. So I'll go ahead and select done and we'll navigate to design and we'll scroll down to custom CSS. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so we can center these images and see this magic happen. And all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below but they're super customizable. So let's take a look at our options here. This is the main selector for the image. It says products.collectioncontentwrapper, grid item, grid image. That's the main selector that you need. I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and everything we place in between these brackets will change the way that this image is displayed. The first thing I'm gonna do is give it a border. I'll say border, 1px, solid black. Now, if you wanna increase the size of this border, change that up to maybe 10px and it'll be a really thick border or 5px if you want it to be a little bit smaller, super customizable. Let's go ahead and give it a border radius. I like to curve the edges of my images so it makes my design look a little softer. I'm gonna add a semicolon and I'll say border radius, and here I can say 15px, and that'll just curve the edges of that border just a little bit. You can also do fun things like give it a box shadow, for example, if you want to stand out a little bit more. I'll add a semicolon and I'll say box shadow, Horizontal offset, 5px vertical. We'll give it a spread of 15 and a blur of 15. Oops, that should be px, there we go. And that is way too dark. So let's go ahead and change this up to a different color. I'm gonna use an RGBA color code so I can adjust the opacity of that dark color, changing it to something a little bit lighter. There we go, now we've got a box shadow effect. That is way too distracting with the super thick border. So I'm gonna bring that back down to one and let's go ahead and decrease that spread to about five. There we go. Now they just are slightly lifting off of the page. I think that looks pretty cool, but again, totally customizable. If you're not into the box shadow, just remove that code and you'll be good to go. Now, last but not least, I'd love to show you how to make a hover effect. Right now, the alternate image for that product is going to show up on a hover, but I like to make my product images stand out even more on a hover. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna take this same selector, we'll add a new line, and here's where it gets tricky. Normally, you'd think, hey, let's add the hover to the grid image. But what we're actually going to do is add it to the grid item. So I'm going to say grid item, hover, grid image. And now we'll open up a curly bracket and let's change the color of the border on a hover. I'm going to say border color. I'm going to spell border correctly. There we go. And then I'll add the word red. And I'm gonna say exclamation point important because I wanna make sure the browser knows to pay attention to this code regardless of any other code it sees. Now, when I hover over the image, we're gonna get that border color changing to red. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size of the border so we can really see that magic happen. There we go. Now we're getting a cool hover effect changing it to red. After you've customized this code, make sure you select save. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel so I can teach you more about customizing Squarespace. Now I have a few more videos about customizing specifically your Squarespace storefront. They're linked in the description below and I have a couple more queued up here in this playlist. So stick around, the next video should start soon. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.